Good afternoon. You're watching the Financial News Network. I'm Jeffrey Parrish. Mead Johnson is reporting first quarter earnings pre-market on April 26th, and analysts are looking at $0.78 cents and $978 million. They are positive on the growth in Asia and Latin America and believe these international growth will be able to offset the market share losses in America as well as the margin squeeze. Mead Johnson shows continued strength in China, which is the company's top market and accounted for 29 percent of the company's 2011 revenue. Analysts believe 15 percent market growth this year is realistic, partly helped by the dragon year effect. However, the China market competition will intensify going forward as the key players strengthen focus and refine strategies. Though competition should be largely benign, the market shares of the top six players will likely converge. Currently, the top six players are, assuming the Pfizer deal goes through, Mead Johnson with 12 percent market share, Danone with 9.8 percent market share, Nestle at 9.6 percent market share combined with Pfizer, Abbott 5 percent market share, being made a 9 percent market share, and Yi Li with 8 percent. Latin America is expected to be the next key driver. Now at $2.2 billion market, Latin America's infant formula is expected to grow by 20 percent into the year 2016, representing 12 percent of the global market. The growth is driven by favorable demographics. The birth rate and women workforce are increasing and full cream milk powder substitution are facing higher demands. Mead Johnson is well positioned in key countries such as Mexico, Brazil and Argentina. It targets to record $1 billion worth of sales from the Latin American market by the year 2016. On the contrary, the company is at the risk of losing market share in the U.S. The Abbott product recalled the ripple effects from the negative exposure on Cronenbacter and the general market decline will likely to put the company on defense. AC Nielsen tracking data shows that over the 12 weeks ending in March 17th, Mead Johnson sales value declined by 6.8 percent and volume declined by 12.2 percent compared to the industry sales decline of 0.9 percent and volume decline of 10.5 percent. The management guidelines the whole year U.S. and EU portion to decline by mid-single digit. For more news and updates, keep it right here at the Financial News Network. I'm Jeffrey Parrish.